Welcome to this new interview in a series of video podcasts about the new Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventist online. The Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventist, or the ESDA, was released on July 1 and is the Adventist Church's first online reference work that features thousands of entries from around the world on variety of topics, including articles on Adventist missionaries, evangelists, institutions, and beliefs. If you haven't checked the encyclopedia's website yet, please do so at encyclopedia.adventist.org and browse thousands of articles and photographs. Our guest today is Dr. Renville Tornalejo. Dr. Tornalejo is the Master in Religion Program Director at the Adventist International Institute of Advanced Studies in the Philippines. Dr. Tornalejo serves as the ESDA editor for the Southern Asia Pacific Division. Dr. Tornalejo, thank you very much for agreeing to this interview today. Uh, hello, Dr. Dragoslava. Thank you very much for having me here. I would like to greet also our viewers, and I hope we are all fine and uh, we're enjoying God's blessings. Yes, indeed. Wonderful. Well, among the first questions that we ask in our interviews is to tell us something about your role in the ESDA project and tell us also something about your team. Well, thank you very much uh, to be the... Uh, regional editor for the encyclopedia under Southern Asia Pacific Division may be a, a, a great challenge on my part in the sense that uh, uh, the division comprises uh, different uh, nations and I can see there are different uh, qualities or talents when it comes to writing, there are challenges, but my main part is to encourage and find writers from the different uh, 13 unions of the division to contribute to the block of articles. In the division, we have more or less 600 articles. Mm -hmm. And so uh, to find writers and to train them, not only about writing, but on the art of uh, referencing mm -hmm. and uh, following the template is a lot of a challenge for me, but uh, praise God, uh, we're moving towards the completion of the project. Yes, yes, wonderful. Could you tell uh, us what territories uh, Southern Asia Pacific Division includes? I believe some of our uh, viewers would like to know what countries were under your jurisdiction. Yes, uh, this uh, division includes uh, uh, the three unions in the Philippines, South Philippine Union Conference, North mm -hmm. Philippine Union Mission, and then we have Central Philippine Union Mission, and we have also two unions uh, from mm -hmm. Indonesia, the East and West mm -hmm. Indonesia. We have Southern mm -hmm. Asia Union Mission based in Singapore. Mm -hmm. We have Bangladesh Adventist uh, mm -hmm. Union Mission and Myanmar uh, Adventist Union mm -hmm. Mission, Sri Lanka. And uh, we have uh, Pakistan also as part of the mm -hmm. uh, Southern Asia Pacific Division. And from its union, we have uh, a union coordinator that helped uh, track down the articles pertaining to that union and mm -hmm. uh, to see to it that these uh, articles have uh, corresponding writers. Mm -hmm. uh, th th that's amazing. We keep referring and saying that one of the greatest assets of this new encyclopedia is the diversity of contributors. Now that you mentioned, we have authors from the Philippines, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Pakistan, and they all bring this uh, local knowledge and uh, local uh, sources and local flavor to the encyclopedia articles. Uh, uh, we believe it's, it's a great uh, opportunity to have local authors write about their own history. Hmm. Um, so the encyclopedia was released recently. How was it received in the Southern Asia Pacific Division? Were the people excited? Yes, uh, in fact, I'm very excited to tell our viewers that the uh, launch was uh, warmly received and it has uh, created an impetus among uh, writers and church leaders wanting to see their articles published online in the encyclopedia and eventually on the uh, print version. And so uh, uh, some unions who have not yet uh, significantly 
contributed in finishing their block are excited that uh, mm. they somehow are asking me, uh, what can we do more? I, mm. Are we still on the date to submit our articles? And so I would say that the launch had created the, a great excitement and I think has awakened more interest and uh, uh, the enthusiasm to participate in this project. Mm. And they're very excited about this. And uh, I, I, I see that uh, they have come to value more this project mm. to see that uh, the history of the, mm. the church in a particular area is being represented in the encyclopedia. Well, we praise God for that. Uh, I understand that for some parts of the world, the encyclopedia will represent uh, like a first written record of Adventist history for certain regions of the world, and and I believe in your in your division as well. Yes, I agree. Well, in fact, uh, one of the challenges in our part is that to find written records because in mm -hmm. our tradition we just uh, uh, rely so much on the transference of knowledge through oral tradition, and it's a challenge to find written sources, valid written sources. So, as you said that. This is the first time that we can have an accurate, mm -hmm. if not a perfect, 100% accurate record, but at least uh, nearest to the accurate record of our history. Yes, and we hope that the encyclopedia will provide this basis for future researchers to continue exploring and writing about the Adventist history in all these territories. But as you said, this is for some territories the first almost first written record. And if we don't capture the local knowledge and oral tradition now, maybe in the next generation it will be lost forever. Yeah, I definitely um, agree on that. Yes, yes. So tell us, Dr. Tonalejo, how will the ESDA benefit people in your territory? You already uh, started uh, telling us something about that. Uh, maybe you can also tell us about the types of articles that our readers can find uh, in the encyclopedia. Yes, uh, as we go back to the question, how can this benefit our, mm -hmm. our members here in, the, uh, in this region? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, definitely it will benefit them a lot by bringing to them the, the stories, uh, mm -hmm. pressing their memories, how the church started, the difficulties and the challenge the church mm -hmm. went through, through its pioneers and its members and how everybody contributed to the growth of the church. And in this encyclopedia, we find biographies of our church leaders who have sacrificed so much. Not yes. to say that we make them appear larger as uh, in life, but to provide an accurate record of their sacrifices, maybe some of the pitfalls they have been mm -hmm. through. We can yes. also uh, find in the encyclopedia the, the story of our uh, uh, union, I mean, the mm -hmm. local conferences, mm -hmm. the unions, mm -hmm. the history of our educational institutions, the challenges they've been through and uh, also the medical institutions, how they contributed mm -hmm. to the progress of the church. So collectively in this project or in the encyclopedia, we can see the, the, the big picture of the origin, the progress and the growth of the church. Yes, yes, this is, this is wonderful. And I believe that it's very important for people to understand that the Adventist church is a worldwide church. It's not a church that's predominantly North American, but, but it's a worldwide church. And we have centuries, almost centuries of Adventist presence in many parts of the world. And learning about local heroes of faith, local leaders and evangelists, we hope that uh, new generations of missionaries will be uh, uh, inspired to continue the work in their, in their regions. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Dr. Tornalejo, you are a teacher at IAS, and as a teacher uh, at this uh, important Adventist institution, have you engaged students in the ESDA project? Yes, definitely. Uh, we have many students uh, writing articles for, the, uh, for our blog here, but uh, mainly I'm focusing on students coming from our division. You see, okay. IAS is a very diverse community. Yes. We have students coming from North America, from Europe, from Africa, but I engage more on students coming from our division. I want mm -hmm. that those who will write our stories are 
uh, are people really coming from mm -hmm. uh, the different localities and they know better the context, they know the whole story. And mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, it's very important that mm -hmm. uh, they themselves will write their own stories. Yes, indeed. Uh, what about the IS administration? Do you have their support? Yes, definitely. I'm happy to tell our viewers that IS administration is very supportive mm -hmm. of this project. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, IAS grants uh, scholarship to students mm -hmm. and uh, they assigned me four students who are receiving scholarship from IAS mm -hmm. to write articles for the encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. And so for the past uh, two years, I have four regular students working with me and I think they have completed uh, almost 60 or 80 articles mm -hmm. as uh, equivalent to the scholarship grant given by us. Mm -hmm. And so I can say that uh, the Adventist International Institute of Advanced Studies is very supportive to this project. Well, we want to thank uh, IAS uh, in this way publicly as well and, and hope that uh, other colleges and Adventist universities will follow the example of your school. Um, it's important for our viewers to, knew, to know that several Adventist universities worldwide has been partners with the ESDA project at the General Conference, IS of course, and then Frieden South Adventist University, Andrews University, Brazilian White Center, UNASP, and Oakwood University in uh, Alabama, just to name some of them. Uh, however, we want other Adventist universities and colleges to join our project. So, Dr. Tornalejo, what would be your message to Adventist schools? How does the ESDA project enrich you, your faculty and students, and your university in, in general? Why do you think it's important for our schools to participate in this project? Yes, thank you very much for that question. Now, if you won't mind, I will speak some more about uh, how IAS and how our students uh, have contributed to the writing of the encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. uh, I am also teaching history courses, not only theology mm -hmm. courses. Mm -hmm. And so I have doctoral students under my class. And as part of the course outline, uh, that they are required to write uh, stories of mm -hmm. the missions, conferences, mm -hmm. And so it's part of the requirement. So in a way, they, uh, they fulfill their requirement in class mm -hmm. and they can also mm -hmm. become authors for the encyclopedia and they're happy and excited about it. Yeah, now, that's excellent, the, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. on the area of how can we encourage, particularly on the area of Southern Asia Pacific Division, mm -hmm. I would encourage our uh, administrators really to be on board with this project, to be more mm -hmm. engaged. Because uh, looking at it, our educational institutions, they have the most access to uh, mm -hmm. quality research in uh, the sense that we have more mm -hmm. skilled and trained researchers and yes. writers and we have more access to uh, uh, books or even online sources. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. on my part, uh, it's only IS that is very much engaged and yes. I'd like to challenge our uh, administrators coming from the different uh, institutions, educational mm -hmm. institutions of the Philippines, that they should also be more engaged in this project so mm -hmm. that uh, uh, they can contribute in completing this project. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. In, in this way, they will not only be helping the ESDA project, I would say the higher goal is to actually engage our young people with Adventist history and connect them to their Adventist heritage and strengthen their Adventist identity. Uh, I believe this is uh, one of the main goals of our Adventist schools. And working on the ESDA project uh, would help teachers strengthen their students in the knowledge about their church and the commitment to, to their church. Yes, so, thank you so very much. It's a very uh, excellent point that you have uh, given emphasis to. And so yes. I believe that if our uh, uh, school administrators or teachers who are listening now should be able to see that insight, that would be a great uh, thing for them to encourage our young people to be more engaged. Yes, yes. And we also hope that our schools will be using the encyclopedia in preparing the devotionals that are given to students or weeks of prayers, PowerPoint presentations 
bringing the Adventist heritage closer to, 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 uh, to our young people. We often say that the encyclopedia is a missional tool to reach the world with the Adventist message, but perhaps uh, we should emphasize right now, we want it to be a missional tool to reach our children in our schools. Yes. Yeah. Now, Dr. Ternalejo, could you share a story or two from your division that stood out to you? Yes, uh, there are a lot of stories, very exciting stories, heartwarming, touching mm. stories. Uh, but I would like to deal more on uh, history of the conferences or uh, mm. uh, mission institutions. Mm -hmm. There are a lot that stand out, but I will pick up uh, these uh, stories about uh, Yangon Adventist Mission, mm -hmm. the story about uh, the history of uh, Western Mindanao Conference, mm -hmm. Southern Mindanao Mission. These stories uh, tell how from the very humble beginning, the church mm -hmm. grew and uh, mm -hmm is steadily growing uh, because of the factors that I see how uh, this humble beginning has been brought until this moment by uh, common factors that can we, we can still learn until this mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting choice. Uh, I don't think that many of our viewers consider history of church administrative units as particularly interesting, but obviously you think otherwise, and I'm glad, uh, because that's, that's a whole treasury of valuable uh, information. But please tell us what can we learn from, from these articles? I found out that from these articles, the humble beginning of the church growth started with uh, literature evangelism, mm -hmm. coupled with the uh, medical ministry, mm -hmm. and uh, also with the uh, sacrifice and dedication of uh, not only of our pioneer missionaries, but uh, pioneer local church members. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They brought the message that they have uh, learned from the Bible. They brought it uh, everywhere they go, when they migrate, when they go to workplaces, and uh, I see this very interesting. Mm. Yes, yes. So, so you, you mentioned uh, previously some common factors that attributed to the history of the Seventh-day Adventism in, in your territory, and you would say that liter literary evangelism is one of, of those common factors. Are there some other common factors? that contributed to the growth of the church in South Asia Pacific Division? Yes, aside from uh, literature uh, ministry, mm -hmm. as what I've also mentioned, medical ministry, mm -hmm. and uh, the passion, I would like to uh, point out the passion, mm -hmm. the dedication of the pioneer church members. Mm -hmm. They are very passionate about sharing what they have uh, learn from the scriptures, from the Bible truth, and about Adventism in particular. Uh, yes, yes. So is there a lesson or encouragement for the church today that you would like to share from your research uh, for the encyclopedia? Yes, definitely. Uh, maybe we should rethink our methods of evangelism. Have we departed from those, uh, shall I say, traditional, but to me, very effective method of uh, evangelism? In a sense mm -hmm. that uh, um, it's, uh, all the doctrines are very important, theology mm -hmm. is very important, but I think lifestyle uh, and uh, the way we live and how we relate to mm -hmm. our, uh, our, our brethren, our people mm -hmm. in the community has a greater mm -hmm. impact in yes. our uh, reaching out to them. Yes, yes, yes. So, Dr. Tonalejo, I, I can see that you are very passionate about Adventist mission. And uh, for the end of this interview, could you tell our viewers about the significance of the Encyclopedia for Adventist mission? Yes, thank you very much. I, I think I have uh, said enough, but uh, I cannot mm -hmm. overemphasize the importance of the Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventist. Mm -hmm. As we have mentioned several times before that in the previous uh, volumes of the encyclopedia, mm -hmm. uh, the world church and its progress as a whole uh, is not that represented. But mm -hmm. now we are happy that uh, uh, the encyclopedia that we are working mm -hmm. on represents the whole uh, 
uh, church, not only yes. in some continents, but particularly in all continents, uh, that the Adventist message is, is, uh, is uh, growing, we can see them in the encyclopedia. And that is very important, once again, that uh, our young people will be able to know the stories of our pioneers. They will be able to read the sacrifices, the dedication. And I think that will uh, uh, awaken them that uh, the lessons that we have learned in the past could be also the lessons that we need to do as we face the same challenges and maybe even greater challenges towards the completion of the mission of the church. Yes, yes, I, I agree. I agree. This is very, very important that we read about how mission grows around the world, but also about the territories where the mission is stagnating for some time or maybe even declining. Because uh, uh, for me, it, uh, it was quite eye opening to learn that in some uh, countries or parts of the countries where some time ago, Adventist missionaries sacrificed their lives and the church started growing that at the moment we are experiencing a stagnation or even decline in the mission. And I have to say it stirred something inside of me and I said, God, we should not allow all this work, all these sacrifices to be in vain. Now it's our responsibility to carry on the work and do the mission that has been entrusted to us. So, so that, that's that's been something that very, very important for me. And of course, the encyclopedia being an online resource, it makes it so easy to share with others, with our friends uh, uh, who want to learn about the Adventist church. Uh, I believe that no one will refuse to uh, uh, get a link and perhaps uh, check it later. So being an online encyclopedia makes this availability uh, uh, much, much uh, uh, easier. And of course, it's a free encyclopedia. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, you know, uh, Dr. Dragoslava, thank you very much. I see the, a point there that you raised a while ago regarding um, areas uh, that have stagnated. And I think mm -hmm. by looking back and uh, uh, reading the history of our work in that particular region, we can answer some questions why mm -hmm. this happened. Why? And maybe we can, uh, we can say that we have abandoned some of these methodologies. Mm. That's why mm. we stop growing. So I think by looking back into our history, we can answer some of the questions that we need yes. to address that are very relevant for the growth of the church. Yes, yes, yes. Dr. Tonalejo, thank you very much for being our guest and indeed for your work on the Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventists. We are sure it's going to be a tremendous blessing for the church in the South Pacific Division and beyond. And we hope that through this interview, we will encourage some more readers to go and check the encyclopedia articles at encyclopedia.adventist.org. Thank you very much, Dr. Tornalejo. Yes, thank you very much for having me here. And thank you very much to all our viewers. And I continue to request for prayers uh, for the uh, encyclopedia team and uh, let's pray that the Lord will give us strength and courage to go on working for him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord indeed. Amen. This was Dr. Renville Tornalejo, the encyclopedia assistant editor for the Southern Asia Pacific Division. Please read the articles by Dr. Tornalejo and other authors from the Southern Asia Pacific Division and check the other over 2,100 articles at encyclopedia.adventist.org. Thank you very much for watching us and see you soon with another as the editor and some new stories from the encyclopedia. Thank you and God's blessings. <laughs>